you see Dan here again. Everywhere. Virginia's here. Girls, I think we're getting a little bored at the other match. God, they, they were out in a hurry. Yeah. Well, I mean, we knew it would be boring, but Vreelander had to get on the centre court. I mean, it's very trying. What? Two minutes, ladies, two minutes. One minute. Ladies and gentlemen, Miss Graff won the toss and elected to serve.
time. Balls down to the left of the chair, please, ball boys, ball girls. Seats quickly, please, ladies and gentlemen. Players about to commence. Thank you. First set. Quiet, please. Miss Graff to serve. Ready? Play. And on the very first point of this uh, fourth round match, an astonishing piece of uh, anticipation by the challenger there. <coughs> Receiving service. 15 all. So Steffi Graf, the defending champion, having won three matches in the earlier rounds and only lost ten games. This her first really serious test at this Wimbledon. Thirty fifteen. Against Monica Sellers, fifteen years of age, seeded eleven and world fourteen ranking. Forty fifteen. Receiver, two hands on both sides, left-handed serve. Well, then she's getting a lot of serves to what is her backhand side. And she's missed a couple by a couple of inches, but that was right inside the line. And a tremendous hand, this slight girl of 15, Quiet, please, who really hits the ball as hard almost as uh, anybody. Playing a remarkably uh, mature rally there. Deuce. Advantage, Miss Graff. Okay, Miss Graff. First game. And I would think Steffi Graff rather relieved to serve that ace to win that opening game. But of course, the, uh, this match comes to the centre court after an extraordinary match they played in the semi final of the French Championships last month when uh, Monica Sellers was leading two love in the final set. And she was 3-4 down and 40-15, serving a chance to make it 4-all. Eventually lost the match and lost the last five points of that semi-final. But a remarkable match that certainly will go down, in the, if not into the history of tennis, certainly into the history of the French Championships. And it was following that, that, following that uh, extraordinary match that uh, the shock defeat occurred of, uh, of uh, Steffi Graf when she lost to Arantia Sanchez. And that killed her chances of uh, doing for the second year in succession the Grand Slam, which she'd done the previous year, and of course the Golden Slam. Miss she won the Olympic sir. Games. So, love one.
Well, it really is uh, quite amusing, this, because every time she whacks the ball, the crowd is left. chuckling, and there's yet one more whack to Ladies come. It's incredible how much place. pace she puts into those balls, really throws her body into them. Well, John Perry from the umpire's chair make an appeal to the crowd, but when you see rallies of that class, <laughs> very, very difficult to keep quiet, I think. Thirty fifteen. Well, Steffi Graf hitting those uh, great forehands of hers, forcing her opponent to uh, play that one with one hand, her left hand intertwined. Thirty forty. So a break point. Juice. So this, uh, certainly this fourth round, the last 16, being played at a tremendous pace. Juice. Advantage, Miss Graf. Some tremendous driving by uh, Steffi Graf. <laughs> Serving, Monica Sellis, and it's break point for Steffi Graf for a two love lead. Okay, Miss Graf. <laughs> Miss Graf leads by two games to love. And after eight minutes of this uh, fourth round match, the last 16, that's the score. But Steffi Graf having to uh, play at her best to uh, try and keep this 15 year old in check. Tremendous rallies they're having. Tremendous rally here. They've had quite a few of these already. And Steffi Graf gets the half-court ball, cross-court winner of the highest class. And that was a ten-stroke rally. Thirty love. 
extraordinary young player in your picture there. 14 ranked in the world and seeded number 11 here at Wimbledon. And it's really the first time that the younger player hasn't anticipated the, uh, the shot from uh, Stefikov. Forty fifteen. Game is crap. Miss Craft leads by three games to love, first set. And this, of course, was the most eagerly awaited match uh, that I can remember for a long time because uh, just last month they had a tremendous battle in the semi final of the French Championship when Steffi Graf was really uh, under pressure. She was two love down in the final set to Monica Sellis and then was uh, leading 4 3 with her opponent serving 40 15. They had a tremendous rally which eventually. Steffi Graf won with a marvellous forehand drive, made it 4 all, and in the end, Steffi Graf won the last five points in a row to get through that semi-final, but then, of course, the shock of her life when she was defeated by Arantia uh, Sanchez from Spain. And that, of course, put paid to Steffi Graf's hopes, perhaps, of uh, repeating the Grand Slam that she won last year, because she'd started this year winning the Australian Time. Championship, and everyone thought she was well on the way to probably... Uh, winning the next three. Seats quickly please but ladies and gentlemen, players are ready, thank you. This is the first time that uh, just Monica Sellis has played at Wimbledon, first time she's ever played a tournament on grass. Love 15. And there is the classic example of the brilliance and the weight and the power of that uh, graph forehand. Racing shot right into the corner. Love 30. Well, just as one was admiring how well Steffi got around to hit that forehand, she's hardly recovered her uh, stance before that ball has passed her so fast. Fifteen forty. Second service. Graf leads by four games to love. So in really high form on this lovely day, Steffi serving, leading four love, first set. Well, and how often love. have we had a score sheet just littered with uh, things saying forehand winners from Steffi? It's gorgeous today. Thirty love. Yeah. 
Second service. Forty luck. Okay, Miss Crow. Miss Graff leads by five games to love. First set. Well, Virginia, with uh, with um, Steffi Graff playing so brilliantly as this, loving pace, of course, it's coming against her. Surely the younger player will have to start trying to slow it up, lifting it a bit. Well, that's exactly the question I'm asking myself because when uh, uh, Selish beat. Chris Everett in the final of Houston, the first set she just belted the ball and Chris lapped up the pace and then she started to slow ball and finally wore Chris down. I actually thought Chris should have won that match but it was a tremendous uh, mental achievement and of control for Monica. Now, I just wonder if she does that today, whether she'll get any reprieve from Chris because, uh, from uh, uh, Steffi, because Steffi's sitting the ball, seeing the ball like a football. She's hitting it so hard, and she knows where the court is. I also think, Dan, that she has done some very good homework since her match in uh, Paris, because she had never played Steph uh, Selish before. And she was playing her forehand side predominantly. She started off today playing her backhand and has broken that down a bit. And now she's playing wherever she wants to. Fifteen love. Well, the crowd here on the centre court doing their best to uh, give the youngster support. But she needs it again against the champion, who's in absolutely brilliant form. You wouldn't think that it was possible for a right-hander to get around a left-hander slice serve like that, but not only did she get around, came back with interest. That's a winner. Thirty fifteen. Well, if you're wondering how these girls get this sort of pace and speed and, uh, and speed through the air, it's beautiful timing. Thirty forty, And that return winner gives Steffi Graf a set point. Out. Game, first set, Miss Graff, six games to love. Well, that's a tremendous uh, set for Steffi Graff in 18 minutes. Quiet, please. Thank you. Quiet, please. And not Second only is she crack cracking her forehand now, but she's playing her backhand as solidly as I've seen it, the slice backhand. Love 15. First double fall of the match. Fifteen all. Out. 
So quick was the return that Steffi Graf had hardly recovered from the service when she attempted the backhand half volley. Forty thirty. Monica attempting a very difficult disguise cross court shot there. Cheers. Start. Advantage, Miss Crab. And the solidity of the driving in this match is, uh, it's hard to believe, and now keeping such a low trajectory, the uh, penetration with uh, the strokes off the ground very fast. Advantage, Sala. Miss Graff, ball change. First game, second set. First set, Miss Graff. Well, it's truly dazzling stuff out here. They are both hitting the ball so well. And uh, Steffi always has one more. And if we have a look at just the wonderful bouncing movement of her feet, and the early preparation, the strong hands, all these slice back hands were landing literally with in inches of the baseline. They're always in perpetual motion she is. It's a slightly different motion from a lot of players, that little bounce motion. And again, the slice back hand, and this just carried right to the baseline. Steffi does not like to stay still for a second. And take that well have another one we can handle another one and finally time just a, a wonderful point there I was just thinking what a wonderful athlete seats quickly please Quite ready. thank you she is just an incredible athlete about five foot nine has a real presence when you stand next to her love one Fifteen love. Just out. Every stroke off the ground accompanied by the grunt. <laughs> and on the service, of course. Oh. 
Yes. Well, it is good news to see Steffi coming into the net, but you know, she made that difficult Steffi volley, and she really could have hit that one. Just a sign that she doesn't have the same instinct at the net. Oh, that's a lovely guy. Well, watch this shot. She doesn't often do this. It's a running forehand. She's left-hander, remember? So that's her forehand, that two-hander. There it is. Forty fifteen. Forty thirty. Oh. Juice. Well, she'd created the opening with the slice forehand, uh, the cross court slice forehand, but uh, taking that ball very early just mistimed it. Yes. Well, the reactions are just so I fast to both of these players when there's an awe that they can return the balls that come so hard to them and then make winners of them. One game all, second set. So after losing the first seven games, now on the scoreboard. One all. Fifteen love. Fifteen all. Oh, that's an incredible forehand again. Thirty fifteen. And just an unbelievable shot. When she's been hitting most of her winners inside out on the forehand, we get the cross court. Whip. Forty, fifteen. <laughs> 40 30. What a difference when you take that ball just a yard earlier. Steffi Graf really hadn't recovered from the service when that was done on her feet. Game is Graf.
This graph leads by two games to one, second set by one set to luck. Well, Dan, I certainly think that uh, Steffi is a different player out here than she was when she played her in the semi-final in uh, Paris. And one of the reasons is, of course, that she gets more mileage out of her shots because the grass is so much faster and they don't stand up at all. So she's going to hit far more winners. But I also think she gets better footing on the grass than she does on the, the clay. And the clay of feet slide a little bit. Plus the fact that her backhand has got such a vicious slice that it is a truly greatly effective shot on grass. Time. Well, back on the centre court here, we're seeing Steffi Graf, the holder of the championship, playing absolutely brilliant tennis against a girl of 15 who is playing the most astonishing stuff against her and yet she uh, lost the first seven games but it's now 2-1 and uh, Monica Sellis serving about 15 15 all. Steffi's forehand is probably the best I've seen it uh, maybe in a year almost. There's no tension at all. It's just flowing and uninhibited. Rather nice change of tactics there, the uh, forehand drop shot. Didn't attempt it until she had the uh, short ball, of course. 30 all. Mm. 30 40. to get under the low balls, the slice. She's got good hands, she adapts well, and she was in trouble all the way through that point and hung in there. Good stuff. Just out. Advantage, Miss Sellers. Juice. 
Advantage, Miss Graff. So for the second time, break point. Okay, Miss Graff. <laughs> Miss Graff leads by three games to one. Second set. It really is quite remarkable, I think, that uh, Monica Seles won only four points against the service in the uh, first set, and she's won four so far in this. And uh, yet she's playing so well. Fifteen lives. Backhand stays so low and deep here, and it sets up what for Steffi is her bread and butter. Yes. Thirty fifteen. Once again, she stepped right in about a yard earlier, taking that ball, and Steffi really hadn't recovered from the service. Thirty oh. Forty thirty. First service. Game is craft. This graph leads by four games to one, second set, by one set to love. And uh, Monica Sellis is a very charming new face on the scene, and we have the players box full of people. On the left there, <laughs> behind the people passing in front, is Nick Bolletieri, who is her coach. He, and then her parents are along in the front row. Uh, behind the lady in the blue is uh, Steffi Graf's mother, who has decided she can relax enough almost to sunbathe up there and of course Pavel Slozel in the uh, what color burgundy uh, top and Peter Graf is back and he has not been feeling that well in Paris he was not that well and I think it also affected her performance quite a well plus uh, I think the lady just above him is Mrs. Sanchez and Arantxa Sanchez is watching the girl that Selish beat in the first round is watching they've all come out to see the fireworks and fireworks they certainly have been. Quiet please ladies and gentlemen, players but ready, thank you. at the moment there's only one horse in front and that's Steffi Graf and she's six love for one up. <laughs> I gave it a wing. Love 15.
Well, here we see Steffi Graf playing the most lovely forehand drop volley. And remember, of course, that uh, she is, in fact, the doubles champion here, ladies doubles champion. Love, 40. This graph leads by games to one, second set. And when you've got a forehand like Steffi Grass, you can often to uh, have your volleys come to your aid, come to your rescue. But serving then for this uh, fourth round match. Fifteen off. That's the champion's third double fault. Thirty fifteen. Unexpectedly good at the turn of the second service, which is right in the corner of the service court. 5 1 30 all. Second set. 30 oh. <laughs> 40. Well, she's uh, not winning too many points ordinarily, but. She'll take that. No chance to get there. Break point. And did Miss Graff. It's one of the most ruthless displays I've ever seen on this record. Six love, six one, you'd think that uh, it was as easy as could be. Uh, it was, of course, in terms of score and tension, but uh, the, the rallies were terrific, absolutely terrific. And today, Steffi Graf showed a forehand such as I'd never seen before uh, for a lady. And the uh, backhand was really as sound as a bell. Well, and uh, Monica said it I think we'll be beating a lot of opponents by the same score in her future, but I'm sure in a strange way this will probably be one of the most memorable 